will have five minutes per issue from, quite frankly, a very distinguished uh, group of uh, executives and a great panel. The word historic is often referred when describing the recent presidential elections. In your opinion, what are some of the potential implications on how corporate America might view the role and the importance of multicultural marketing moving forward? Gary. Um, well, first of all, thank you for uh, having me here. Um, you know, I think that uh, the profound, th that this is transformational, social, economic, political changes that uh, likes of which we haven't seen in, in generations. And, and I think uh, from a multicultural perspective, uh, multicultural Americans are going to be disproportionately affected by this election uh, in areas such as the economy and jobs, a certain in education, um, health care, uh, immigration, uh, immigration uh, policy, uh, and even in, in softer cultural issues like uh, what it means to be cool um, and, uh, and technology and, and everything is going to be transformational for multicultural Americans, much more so than, than Anglos. Jose. As you could see, I'm trying to burn as much time as I can <laughs> so that, you know, I can hear the, my own buzzer go off, okay, one way or another. So any final thoughts? Uh, I have Tur one little one, just, um, it's about 38 seconds worth, but um, <laughs> that's 37, 36. Uh, um, we're watching a little counter here, but, um, you know, I think that it's uh, changing the world. Um, you know, I, I just happened to be flipping through channels, uh, digital channels, by the way, um, on C-SPAN, and it was the night after the elections, and they showed 14 different broadcasts from around the world on how these various countries described what had just happened. And even in places where we have, you know, significant issues such as Iran and Venezuela, the newscasts were, of course, the mouthpiece of the government, uh, unbelievably optimistic and hopeful. Uh, already, one day after. So I think global transformation is, is already happening. Okay. Are you, are you waiting for the horn? Yeah, I was waiting for the horn. Okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, you can control the buzzer next time. You click the slide, it will ring. All right. Any final thoughts, Gary? Well, um, I, I have a slightly different perspective on, on the question. Um, you know, I've been fortunate the last couple of years to start moving in the circle of CEOs and corporate leadership uh, in America. And just this last week, I was with uh, one, um, and we were kind of talking about this. And, and, I, and I basically asked him, I said, you know, in, in these tough economic times, you know, what's going to happen? And he said, we need to innovate, um, as, as we heard, you know, earlier. And, and so we started brainstorming. And by the time the conversation was over, um, you know, we're now communicating about uh, a, a strategy for this uh, company to acquire Hispanic and African American owned companies who are struggling during these tougher economic times and in doing so providing their marketing muscle, their operational expertise and what that does is create jobs in the communities in which these, uh, these businesses uh, operate so there's a trickle down effect. So I think you know, innovation in, in these kinds of ways is what's necessary. A little bit of thoughts on what seems to work well and are there any differences in how we approach either the different markets or versus the general market? Gary. Um, I, I, I think there are some similarities because we're all human and, and we have much more in common than, than not. Um, but, but I think there are differences in how to interpret you know, um, our lives and they basically emanate from a value system. and. Uh, that uh, has some things in common, but some things that might be ex uh, different. Um, so, uh, as a, uh, maybe a quick illustration, um, uh, Hispanics are, are very group-oriented, Anglos are much more uh, individualistic, and so the way that they might interpret um, uh, a marketing communication or, or other business development efforts um, uh, oftentimes are, are very different. And so it's incumbent upon us to, to, to understand some of those differences. And my, my boss, uh, Valerie, uh, actually runs our research uh, company and has spent, uh, spends a lot of time with uh, innovation, understanding, living with uh, 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 consumers to try to delve into those deeper insights. Gary? Um, I, I think the digital divide in most respects has, has closed. You know, not entirely, but closed. Broadband is still an issue. But uh, I'm, I'm just 
all over the idea of convergence, of, of television, uh, of content being distributed through all technologies, anytime, anywhere, to anyone, in any way they want to deliver it. And um, I think that is a massive change that's, that's just starting to happen with Hulu. H how many of you have used Hulu? Uh, so not too many, maybe, maybe only 10 people. Uh, go to Hulu.com, you know, which is owned by NBC. Um, wait till you see what happens uh, to the world of content. And, and uh, it's, it's happening right now, and I'm, I'm really psyched about it. We're doing a lot of work in that area right now.